For those of you who are new here, my name is Katherine and my boyfriend Parker and I are digital nomads, meaning we travel across the country working our 9 to 5 jobs and documenting our experiences on this channel. We recently spent one month in Seattle and today I'm going to break down the highlights of our trip there. When I think of Seattle, I think of coffee, rain, Kurt Cobain, a few billionaires, and Seattle really is those four elements. Today I'm going to break down our coffee experiences. A few touristy items you should do. They might not be the most mind-blowing activities ever, but it's good to get it off the bucket list. Nature. Seattle has really great access to nature. And number four, I'm going to briefly touch on some food recommendations that we have. Let's get into it. but this coffee bar is really cool. It has four bars inside of it. We just got a couple lattes and we're gonna taste test and also get a pastry. showed me you did go to Vitrola. It wasn't my favorite. It was very dungeony inside. Probably wouldn't recommend it, but the building is really nice on the outside. And we also went to Fulcrum Coffee Roasters, which we really liked a lot. It is in downtown, a very modern, minimalist feel, and we got oat milk lattes there a couple times. Pike Place is the iconic tourist spot that you usually see in films when Seattle's portrayed and we want to check it out. It's just a market with different vendors. You see the fishmongers throwing the fish, putting on a show for the tourists. We also went to Beecher's, Beaker's Macaroni place and it's supposed to be life-changing macaroni. We kind of thought it was overrated and expensive for what you get. If you want to spend a little bit more on macaroni, that's sort of average, go for it. Otherwise, I would recommend skipping it. Is it life-changing? Oh, it's good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's quirky and fun. Uh, it's 
interesting. Other tourist things that you can do in Seattle are go downtown. The flagship REI store is there and it was really cool. They have an outdoor track where you can ride your bike to test it out. Additionally, they have a massive rock climbing wall inside that was actually closed when we were there. Parker likes to rock climb. There's a flagship Nordstrom. The first Nordstrom ever is based out of Seattle. Next up, let's talk about parks. Seattle has a few great parks that you have to go to while you're there. First of all, Cary Park has a great overlook of the city. We went there twice on the rare sunny days that occurred when we were in Seattle for a sunrise and a sunset, and it was absolutely crowded with people taking photos and droning. Next up, we went to Gasworks Park and met up with my friend Richard from college. Parker and I are at Gasworks Park in Seattle. We have this really amazing view of the city right behind us, and if you can see here, this is an old, it's an old gas plant that the city has converted into a park. So you're on top of a hill right here and you have this really great view. So we just met up with one of my friends, Richard from UVA, which is good to see him. And then after this, I think we're gonna go, go get lunch. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but it's really pretty. It feels like the summer, even though we're wearing jackets and it's 40 degrees. So you yeah, that So good too. This is my friend Richard from UVA. <laughs> hey friends. <laughs> Welcome to Seattle. <laughs> well, catch you later. Third, we went to Discovery Park a few times. Discovery Park is on the coast, so you can walk toward a lighthouse and get a really nice view of the beach. It's very breathtaking. Highly recommend checking it out while you're there. Day, you can see the mountains right across the water. This was the first time on this trip that we saw White Peak Mountains, which was exciting for us. Today we are kicking off our Seattle Ultimate Food Tour. First stop up is Red Bill Burgers. It was rated number one. Oprah and GQ say you must eat this burger before you die, so we're gonna accomplish that today. Parker ordered the double deluxe and I got the bacon deluxe. We're gonna grab these burgers and then go to Fremont Brewing and eat them there because they encourage you to take out local food from Seattle. Is it life changing? Not life changing, but it's a good part. Are you glad you ate it before yeah. you die? Yeah, I got it. It's very good. Not necessarily life changing, but if you're in Seattle, you should get it while you're here. When it comes to food in Seattle, we were a little bit disappointed. We ate out at a few different places. I won't mention them. I don't want to give any bad reviews. One place that was highly recommended by Oprah, GQ magazine, was called Red Mill Burgers. It was a burger that you're supposed to eat before you die. We thought it was kind of fine, but check it out if you must have that, if you're someone that needs to check that off. Finally, for a food recommendation, we went to Matador, which they have locations in Portland, and they might have it in Salt Lake City or Boise, I can't remember. That was really good Mexican food, highly recommend going there. Uh, we got chicken fajitas and I think steak fajitas as well. Overall, our stay in Seattle was very gloomy and rainy. It's definitely a very unique city, it feels quite industrial. I don't know if this makes sense, but I feel like Seattle is a better place to live rather than visit. From what I've heard, Seattle is amazing to visit in the summertime. I didn't realize how much I needed sunshine and thrive off of nice weather until I was there. It surprisingly wasn't as cold as I was expecting. It was usually in the 50s in January, which I think is relatively warm. Let us know if you have ever been to Seattle or if you like any of these recommendations or leave some recommendations below on this video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. Don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe, and we will see you next time. In our next video, we will be live from Boise, Idaho, and Salt Lake City, Utah.